Hi there, I'm Amy Ellis, and this is some Modern Quotes. I'm back with the next installment in the Modern Quote Block series, and I'm excited to show you Star Zone. So, this is a really fun block. I thought it would be fun to play with leaving some things out, taking away a little bit of the different, you know, of the, <laughs> the centeredness of a block. So, this one we have points on two sides, and the other two sides are just left alone and I think you'll find some really fun layout options for this by itself and when mixed with other blocks. There's a pattern in the description below. I would love to have you subscribe and sew along with me every week or just download the pattern with me every week <laughs> and um, my pieces are all cut and ready to go so let's get started. These are the fabrics that I've selected and Instead of laying them out in the block formation, I'm going to first sew the flying geese units. To make our flying geese units, we just need two for this block. We're going to mark a line on the wrong side of this square of fabric here. And I have a machine that has a guide beam on it, so I'm actually not going to mark them. I'm just going to sew this diagonal and show you my trimming process in a moment. Alright, so the key with these is to make sure you're trimming away this part, the excess, and not the part that you want to keep. So if you need to double check <laughs> your your angles and make sure you're keeping the right side, definitely do that. And this is my add a quarter ruler, which I use for all kinds of things, including trimming away a nice quarter inch seam allowance. Now it's not necessary, but it definitely makes the process much easier because it has this lip here on the back that catches on the seam and just makes a nice clean uh, cut. Okay, so we have two of these now and we need to add the other side. And we're just going to repeat the process here and stitch these on the marked line or on the exact diagonal this way. So I'm sewing from this corner down to this corner. So here's the back side so you can see how they're pressed and the front. Let's turn these correctly. So now to continue sewing the block. We're just going to sew across these rows here and uh, stitch them together. I will probably use a couple of pins, especially because this is a woven fabric. Um, they're all woven, but this one is a looser weave. <laughs> and so I want to make sure that it's not stretching while I'm sewing. Okay. So now I've pressed our pieces towards the non-pieced uh, squares and I am ready to nest those seams together and stitch the, the block the rest of the way. And our finished block. So I did sew with this point up so that I could read the seams here behind and make sure that I had my point included in the finished block. I had a lot of fun with the idea of making a partial black because this is, you know, almost a full star, but not quite. It's really fun when you put a whole bunch of them together and you can turn them and you get the different points. But then I also alternated it and you get this extra large square star <laughs> adding the star to other blocks that we've already sewn. The star zone with crosswalk makes a fun just kind of modern take where the star is moving. And then star zone with staircase which we sewed last week you get some cute shapes happening there and it's a lot of fun to see what kind of emerges as you play with the different shapes. Thanks for stitching with me today. If you haven't already, click the link below to download your block pattern. It's free this week while it's brand new. I can't wait to see what you make with it. This is going to be a feature in a lot of other upcoming patterns, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see how they mix together. So I look forward to stitching with you soon. Thanks so much.